Bar- Marnes. Juliet and Marnes go down to find this criminal's wife, uh, but then she turns out to be not to be alive. Let's watch. The fuck are you doing here, Marnes? We are here to talk to your wife. She's been dead for a year. That made me worried. That made me worried because as sheriffs, they should be able to either know who is alive <laughs> at any given time or have it be readily looked up. So it makes me wonder if if they didn't know that his wife was dead, um, who's doing record keeping? Who, who's keeping track of who's alive and who's dead in, in the silo? I thought it should be IT because they like keep track of records and stuff. And I think it would be very easy to keep track of who's alive and who's not alive. So if they're not doing that, what's 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 going on in IT? Even if it wasn't easy to keep track of who's alive and dead, it's kind of important information in the silo. That's right. So what is Bernard? I believe that's his name. Bernard, the IT guy. What's he doing? Is he not keeping track of alive and dead people? What is their what is all their servers running if not keeping track of important things? Like if you have too many people in the silo, you can't feed them or you run out of oxygen. Or if you have too few people, you don't have enough people to run the silo. You really have to have the right balance. And so so what's what's going on? How do they know what they have? What is does, IT doing? Does IT have the information and they're not sharing it with other departments? That would be bad. That would be also bad because they have the information, but they're not giving information to other people that need to make decisions. That's that's like power grabby stuff. Also not good. That's right. I guess that does happen in bureaucracies where people are like, this is my domain. Don't touch it. But we need to work together. Right. Special and operations joint task force. Uh, people being alive versus dead and population census numbers has huge ramifications throughout the silo for power requirements, apartment distribution, food yeah heck they even keep track of who's allowed to have kids i mean in order for that to happen you need to know how many kids can be born so yeah what's going on with their record keeping we're seeing we're seeing through the armor of the uh, the silo something kind of weird going on here it also could be that the the records do exist they're just cumbersome to look up so just go knock on the door don't worry about it that's yeah, okay maybe you guys maybe maybe marns and julia just didn't go and knock on the door find out one way or the other or maybe they just didn't expect the wife to be dead so they didn't think to look it up yeah, I don't know. Possible. Maybe maybe she was just on... I don't know. Sheriff didn't know. <laughs> Sheriff didn't know. Well, I hope. We hope. We got to keep a lookout for this. How is record keeping done in the silo? How does IT share that information? Assuming IT is the one that does the record keeping. How's that shared with other departments? Judicial, the sheriff, mechanical needs to know because they have power requirements. That's right. Hmm. Interesting. 